7.34 in Trinidad and Tobago. Well, now for something very different because television presenter and personality Richard Keyes has been invited to Latin America to promote the BBC3 series of Strictly Soulmates. In addition to his promotion of the series, Keyes also continues his work largely with the Lions. We'll find out more about that in a moment. He's also a member of Uganda's royal family, born in Kampala and uh, moved uh, to the United Kingdom at the age of four. Uh, but he does uh, have that connection with the royal family now following the marriage of Prince David Kintu Wasaja uh, to his sister Marianne Elizabeth Nancha. Uh, so with all of that introduction, uh, we have with us uh, Mr. Kiss. Very good morning to you. Good to have you on uh, the program. So tell us, with, with all of that background, all of that exposure, you, you're now a celebrity in the United Kingdom, a media celebrity. Why are you here in TNT? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm here to really, what I want to do here is to really motivate, challenge and inspire young adults to make sure that they can have a dream in life and never stop dreaming in life. You know, I came from a very humble beginning. You know, I used to be extremely shy. I wouldn't talk to anybody. You know, um, my passion life was just playing football. Uh, today, you know, I live my life uh, speaking to millions of people on television and speaking to people all around the world as well, motivating them as a TV personality and a presenter as well. Um, so you can have dreams in life and you can hope to achieve them. I've done that throughout my life. We can change our environment and so often you've got to change your, 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 your network circle as well. Sometimes we've got negative people in our life and world that often project negativity in our lives. We embrace negativity we end up living how, how difficult is that though because it seems that sometimes young people uh, like like older people uh, they, they, there's unity and misery that we could all sit in a corner and complain about a number of things we can all gather together and talk about the the authorities are against us and we need to to rise up against them because they don't like my people they don't like this group they don't like our group how do you get out of that cycle well, you got to understand that you've got to have an aim in life, right? Great men, great women in life, history makers aren't just suddenly created. These are people that got frustrated about circumstances in life and decided to make a difference. Nelson Mandela today, we know him as a great hero of life, but actually he had a desire and a passion to bring about a change in an arena in life that he was against very strongly. Same as Martin Luther King, you know, um, if you stay in the midst of misery, that's what your life is going to be every single day. Perception is very powerful. Sometimes we've got to change the perception of how we view things in life. Yet there will be some people who will say, uh, Richard Keyes, that the, the, the way the system is structured, that you are an exception to the rule, that you would have had that, that social upheaval. In, in South London and other parts of the United Kingdom three years ago where there was all sorts of violence and people were saying that this is how we've been treated by the system, this is how we've been treated by successive governments and we are rising up, we are rebelling against this constant viewing and treating of us as second class citizens. Yeah, I mean, again, you know, I've never allowed, you know, my government in the UK to prevent me from achieving my success in life. You know, I think that the government may say one thing, my teachers may say another thing. You know, at school, I remember a time when I actually got bullied for my faith of becoming a Christian at 14. Yeah. I used to be in the Arsenal Football Academy, yeah. playing professional football, uh, became a Christian at 14, changed my direction in life from football professionally. I could have been earning a hundred thousand pounds a week. Do you miss out on that? You could have been there with Theo <laughs> Walcott and so on at, 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 at the Emirates. Uh, be being celebrated by 80,000 people and making f 100,000 pounds a week. Do you miss out on that? Uh, not, not at all because you know what, Theo Walcott, I'm friends with these people today. You know, Newcastle footballers, Manchester United footballers, Chelsea footballers, I interview these guys on a regular basis. I have the chance today in life to influence these individuals. You know, so it's not that I, I miss out on it at all, it's that I took a new direction in my life of purpose. And in life, we have to find out, you know, what is our purpose in life? If it's to be a politician, fantastic. Be a politician, be a prime minister. I understand you've got elections taking place here in China and Tobago. But if I was going to run uh, to become a politician here, I would want to make sure that, you know, I have a message that the people need. I have policies that the people want that can bring about a change and a transformation here in this nation. Sometimes so many people enter into positions of power for fame and for celebrity status. You're not assigned to be in a position you're in just for a pretty name and just for a great title. You're in that position to change people's lives. So often people forget that. 
We have just a few seconds left, but in the in the time that we do have available, you said you're, you're going to be with us in Trinidad and Tobago for another week. Uh, wh where are you going to be speaking? You said you're going to be at Woodbrook Pentecostal uh, That's today. Right. That's right. Uh, uh, are you going to be? Do you have other speaking engagements over the next few days? Yes, in fact, I'll be at Woodbrook Pentecostal Church um, on Sunday coming up. I'll also be at Covenant Family Church Bishop uh, Clark's Church uh, this Friday. Uh, Covenant Family Church. Um, as well as that, I'm also going to be a number of different radio interviews when I'm here too um, and I'm also spending some time speaking at schools as well I was at St. Michael's School right. encouraging and motivating those young adults you know I was in a BBC three documentary like you mentioned earlier yeah. which added out to millions of people across the UK you know all I want to say is this in spite of your past pain in spite of your past hurt in spite of life's negativity sometimes that surrounds you you can achieve your dreams throughout life. You haven't got to stay in yesterday's mess. You can turn your mess into a message. Well, part of my dream is to get to Zanzibar, which is not that far away uh, <laughs> uh, from uh, Uganda. It's uh, in, uh, off the coast of Tanzania. But uh, indeed, good to get to your perspective. Thanks very much uh, for coming in. Let's hope that you continue to inspire a lot more people, not just in Trinidad and Tobago, but in other parts of the world.